Welcome back to my channel. It is Krista here to do the weekly reading for the sign of Leo, sun, moon, and rising. If you don't know your moon and rising sign, Leo, there's a link in the description box where you can find your whole birth chart. And that way, for additional information for the week, you can always check out your moon and rising sign readings in addition to your sun sign reading today. So we're reading for Leo for the week of August 29th to September 5th. We are using the Wisdom of the Oracle deck for a three card spread today and then using the bottom of the deck for general energy. And then as always, I'll be drawing a card each from the Healing with the Angels Tarot and the Medicine card Tarot. So this is a general reading for your sign, whatever is most prominent in your life this week. I encourage you to apply these messages to and hopefully you find them helpful and healing. So what does Leo need to know? Okay, so Leo, let's get a little snapshot of what's going on in totality here uh, with all the cards together. I'm going to let the card that jumped out with your third card here as an influencer to the third card. And then of course, this will be general energy for the week. Um, so let's just get a little snapshot of what's going on here. It looks like generally speaking for you for the week, it looks like a sense of enormous security, even faith, a newfound faith or a, um, a reignited faith, either in yourself or a project or humanity at large, but you're having faith in something that you're going to pull through something, um, even if it was a struggle or if you're presented with a struggle, you're going to feel cozy or that people have your back or someone has your back. Um, it's definitely time to walk away from something. You feel really happy about it though. You feel really content and like you are really secure and confident with making this move. And you might have other choices in the future to make about which direction to take here, or you might be presenting options to yourself about where to move next. And there's no sign of you slowing down here. So really good, generally speaking, really good energy here. And a um, lot of opportunities that you're bringing into your own uh, environment or if there are outside influences that are bringing opportunities into your environment they are all valid and you have your pick of something here um, and like I said there are no signs of slowing down so really cool generally speaking here I'm realizing now that it's a teeny bit echoey so sorry about that I will try to add more furniture to the room to keep it from echoing. Um, anyway, I hope you can hear this okay. So really nice energy, um, feeling really secure, maybe even taken care of or that you are taking care of yourself in a new way or in a profound way that's really making nice changes in your life. Um, let's look at the general energy card for the week. Of course, we have time to go. This is literally walking away from something or ridding yourself of something uh, that it no longer serves you or serves a purpose in your life. And as I mentioned, as a general reading, this could be, you know, an, an idea or a belief, or it could be, you know, a jacket or a house. 
So whatever is most prominent in your mind and heart this week, um, you'll know how to apply the time to go card. This is a woman sort of walking down a deck. She's followed by the stars, so there is a great deal of maybe feeling fated or feeling as though this is the right time. Uh, and you're walking toward an open door that is made for you. I mean, there's a future that lay ahead of you if you're only willing to walk away from something that isn't for you. And I, like I said, I simply see this as something that is natural in the process of how you're uh, moving forward here in terms of presenting options to yourself. And certainly it's more probable um, that you're creating these opportunities for yourself by walking away from something that you realize um, doesn't work for you. So this actually probably took a little bit of effort or time to get to the point where you were willing to walk away from this. Because we are creatures of habit, Leo, it's difficult to give things up sometimes, particularly if we um, feel tied to them in some way. Perhaps you've just spent a lot of time on something and it's difficult to walk from that. Um, or it, for whatever reason, it became part of your identity and you started identifying with something or someone that became difficult to walk away from. I see um, now as a general energy, with what's going on here, I see that, like I said, you are a-okay with this. This isn't going to trip you up anymore. Um, and I, and this, I do believe this will be an actual, an action. I don't think this is in the idea stage in the, anymore. I think that you've already given it a lot of thought and have discovered for yourself, not only what you're willing to walk away from or release, but what you're willing to put in its place. And I can see that here with all these options for yourself. So this is actually really glorious to see. Um, it means you've, you've created a brighter future for yourself because you believe you deserve it and you're capable, right? Um, which is a beautiful thing to discover about yourself. So you're probably feeling maybe a little bit high on good ground this week. Uh, and like I said, a lot of support if there's no external support in your life. However, um, you have been able to do this for yourself which again is remarkable. I really wish that more people were able to do this, you know, almost, you know, support themselves emotionally, mentally, psychologically, all of it. Um, not that you should have to do this every day of your life that could get lonely, but that in times of struggle or in times of having to make a firm decision or a tough decision here, you have your own back. And it also helps other people believe in you. I think if you're really confident about these decisions, you can um, influence the way other people see them and understand them. Not that that's your motivation here, of course. I do think this is health and self-preservation. Um, but ultimately, it will help bring this type of energy into your life. These types of people who make similar decisions or um, are able to turn the tide for themselves or able to be their own supporter, best friends, are going to find their way into your life. And I think this will add to a sense of serendipity in your life because this will be your tribe, right? This will be your crew, your homies. <laughs> um, and if you open these new doors for yourself where you can experience serendipity, which is really just, I mean, it looks like luck and it acts like luck and it maybe even feels like luck, but this is the result of hard work, right? Um, so, even if you feel lucky or please don't feel like you don't deserve it or that it's not for you or anything like that because you've worked hard for this to get to this place of serendipity. This is a feeling, uh, right? And I mean, I do think there are people who are convinced that luck is just something that happens to you and it doesn't happen to other people, but I, um, I completely see it a different way. I see it as the result of a lot of behavior changes and um, even just being clearer about what you want or what you don't want, right? And not living in a state of confusion or even letting yourself stay in a state of confusion. God knows we're all, we all get to those places from time to time, right? Um, but not letting yourself stay there, really putting your foot down on something and deciding, you know what? It's more important for me to feel good. It's more important to access and to promulgate this sense of luck or resource or prosperity in my life and you do deserve it and, pe and and it will rub off on other people and you will find um, that other people who are able to do this in their own lives are drawn to you because of it so yeah i think it'll create like a new pack and you'll be supported there 
Uh, so this represents you this week. This is the influence that has gotten you to your current position. No place like home. Yeah, absolutely. This is you feeling perfectly content with yourself. Um, like I mentioned, for every reading, even if you're coupled, right? Even if you have a soulmate in your life or you're coupled or you're dating or you're serious with somebody and you feel like you ha always have this, this person always has your back. It is just as essential to have your own back. It really is. Um, that person could not be there tomorrow or this, this person could need you more than you need them at some stage and then who has your back. So this is actually a, a real point of strength for you to understand how much you bring into your own life in terms of wealth and happiness and wellness and feeling so content and so at peace that you're able to provide it to other people. Um, not that people are going to be, you know, taking it from you. This isn't a vampiric activity. Certainly don't allow that to happen. If, if people see you happy and content, um, depending on who the people are, um, especially if it's someone or an, an energy or an attitude you are trying to walk away from or to resist. Some people don't know how to be happy or relax or content, and they might try to steal from you. So I see you steal that from you. And I just see you not having any part of that. I mean, you know too well how good this feels and you're not willing to just give it away for nothing. So, and, and this needs to be met with you. This is what's interesting, what's going on here with these three cards for me. Time to go, serendipity, no place like home. And these two acting as influencers and current situation and a general energy. I think you're just, and this is an extreme right now, but I think there could be a point where you're just like, I'm over it like I'm fed up whether it's a bad thought or a bad feeling or a bad date or um, you know a, a, an affliction or an addiction or whatever it is I th or just or maybe just some looped thought where for whatever reason it brings you down and you couldn't get rid of it for some reason or you felt like it was necessary to go through it I think you're just like you know what I'm over it you're done <laughs> and once you make that decision it really does open up something it opens up an area or an environment where you can introduce something really truly positive for yourself. And you've had to discover the truly positive first, and then you've had to identify it, which I do think you identified, right? And now you're like, oh, I've, listen, I've done the work. I've identified it, and now I know how I want to feel. So, hey, you know what? Time's up for what makes me feel bad. I'm going to feel good. Or time's up for no decision. I'm going to make a decision. So, and it all stems from a sense of personal wellness and contentedness. So that's extremely joyous, especially if you're giving it to yourself, right? That's, that's a hundred percent. Um, that's powerhouse stuff. When you can give that stuff to yourself, listen, no one can take it from you. Number one, and you choose who you share it with. So it's, it's an enormous personal power in the fork in the road, which is your probable outcome, this is where some options and opportunities exist for you. But I think this is going to um, be exciting for you. This is going to add an element of excitement and there's no rush here. You can take your time. You can look at where you really want to be, what you really want to believe, who you want to be, if that's what's going on. We have issues of wisdom and psychic energy here. And of course, um, being distracted. So, I mean, if someone is distracting you, it's probably not going to be too harmful. Like I said, just be um, aware here that if you are moving away from something or someone um, who is not at the same stage you are, for example, just be aware that you could be distracted into old patterns or old relationships, etc. Um, just be aware that those are distractions right now and if possible, laugh them off and to trust your intuition. Um, I'm going to, like I mentioned, read the go the distance as a qualifier to fork in the road. This is where I see you not slowing down. I think you're really excited to keep going with this new idea or with this new venture and, um, really interested in moving forward. You, you really have nothing tying you to the past any longer. And it's just really lovely to see here. It's a, it must feel very freeing, first of all. It looks like it feels very freeing. Um, and like I said, just an enormous sense of personal power here. And look, you can't buy it. No one can take it from you. 
So it's it's kind of worth its weight in gold. But you know, keep looking at those options. Maybe don't make a um, definitive decision unless we get a qualifier here that says that you have to make a decision. Um, you know, look at what your options are. Look at where you could be, what you're willing to do to get there. And um, really trust that you have what it takes to keep moving forward here. Move forward in faith, Leo, because there's a great deal of um, positive energy here. And uh, a lot of, I would say a lot of soul. You're probably feeling fulfilled or at the very least that you can um, now fulfill yourself, fulfill your dreams, your goals, your, even if, even if there's a project that was put off, maybe that's, maybe this is the week to tie it up or, you know, you could look at it through with fresh eyes and decide to do something different with it. But the bottom line is that you're not going to feel bad about anything and you're not going to let anyone make you feel bad about anything this week. And if I just see you walking away from it hundred percent, like, no, I don't have time for that. And you're not making any apologies for it. So this is where you could need a tiny little bit of a break, perhaps from what you are actively walking away from, especially if it's another person. If you feel like you're being torn down or brought down by another person or people this week, maybe don't let them into your, uh, you know, wellness zone. If possible, you're certainly not responsible for other people unless you're a parent and they're under 16 you're really not responsible for someone else. They are. You're only responsible for yourself. So if you feel safer or just even happier this week, um, maybe walk away from stressful situations or something that isn't entirely closed or um, what do they say that you haven't gotten closure on, for example. Like don't let anyone else drag you into something and certainly don't let yourself do it either. Don't let yourself get dragged back into old patterns or... Uh, um, negative energy here if that's what's going on or just thoughts that, um, another way to frame this is to say you know you've made a distinct and deliberate decision and uh, whoa a bunch of these flew um, if if that decision has been made Leo I would just let it be just let it be if if it really isn't going to work it'll it'll you'll be able to revisit it and choose again um, but for the time being what you have chosen is it's probably going to work for the time being, and at least it's the path that you need to take for the time being. So keep going. <laughs> the hawk is your final card. This is the messenger. This is where I really feel that you are going to be influential to other people this week, whether you know it or not. I was going to say whether you like it or not, but that's rude. Um, whether you know it or not, you're really influencing other people uh, by you taking a stand, by you making a decision, by you choosing happiness. Um, and like I said, if anything is going to present itself as a speed bump this week, I just feel it's going to be someone else trying to trip you up, even if it's no hate, even if it's just their own garbage and they don't know when to back off, uh, or sort of an old pattern or, or negative thought pattern here. So uh, just be aware of messages that you're receiving and stay in your lane and stay focused here. Stay um in the lane of serendipity, right? This place of no place like home. Like, like you're really situated. You really have a lot in order, a lot together here. So give yourself a lot of credit um, for having a lot going for you, for be, being able to take uh, risks here around making decisions, walking away from something that isn't working for you. Certainly if you feel that you need space from something, or someone who could be bringing you down or not understanding the current position you're in, even if it's for a short period, do that for yourself this week, okay, Leo? So that is your reading for the week. If you have a second, let me know how it works out for you. And if you're not already, subscribe to my channel because I upload videos for your sign every single week. So until we meet next time, Leo, take very good care of yourself. Bye for now.